everybody welcome to the orange and new black review now this in this episode we are going to state our uh, options and opinions about certain things um yeah i'm gonna say opinions but i accidentally said options first so shut the fuck up <laughs> i still have these it was like that. so we're going to state our opinions about certain things that happened throughout this episode now i want to i would like to talk about um, the guard who forced the fight between Suzanne and, um, the fuck was her damn name? Coolio? It's Coolio? I believe so. I was gonna say, uh, Rufio. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't they want to sleep? Yeah. Like Cucu- no, Coolio. 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 Shit, and I felt the cop with his own gun. Or did I get caught with that? Put that down! Why are you taking the scissors away from me? Because you don't hate me! Put it down! Are they in any way, shape, or form harming you? I feel. Why are you doing that anyway? Because I. I don't know. Why are you being extra? I'm not being extra. But anyway. Don't! I'm sleeping. You ever call me extra. You is extra. And you have food between your teeth. Really? Damn. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker picked up his phone to his crystals now. But anyway, the thing is, we forgot to actually discuss. You took my scissors away from me. Can you believe that? You doing this on camera? Man. Come on now. But anyway, uh, I had to put my what? I had to put my what? <laughs> I had to put it down to turn that conversation. Yeah. Okay. You said it looked very unprofessional. You forgot to actually video. talk about um, the they body. They found the body. The last episode. They have to like the rest of that then. Even me and Chris after well, Chris and I actually knew that um everybody saw Lolly there, like like oh, really so Yeah, I knew I knew Lolly was gonna get thrown in the bus. First thing, for the simple fact, fucking crazy, why not? And then it didn't make it didn't help one bit that when she ran away that didn't help to her little secret area. I'm kinda pissed. Yeah. Haley almost killed this fucking stuff and these motherfuckers wanna call him. Ah! Why do you want to die so bad? He's not that bad of a character. He's not that bad of a character, yeah, that's true. He's indecisive he, as fuck. He's very that. indecisive. Very. He tries. He, to me, he's Caputo number two. Mm-hmm. Literally. That's too big. I need to lose some weight because I got bigger. Look right up in here. Look at it. Oh, I'm trying to show my face out right here. Two new fans. Oh, you got nice like cheekbones. Fuck off. Man, but let's get to Coolio getting her ass beat by Suzanne. Suzanne beat the he should have least the fucking beat on us. It looked like she was just smacking her though. But Oh no. Old girl she she should have fought the little hillbilly bitch though, to be honest with hillbilly you. Hillbilly bitch. I ain't fighting no retard. Hillbilly was like shit, man. That bitch got the strength of a god. I'm glad I did not get into those problems. You know, we ain't see me at this whole episode. Yes we did. The last episode we seen her. Yes we did. We saw the first episode of you look good. Not me and she on this fucking day after that. We didn't? No. We didn't see Gloria here either. No. Gloria was talking to um, the daughter the other episode. Like, I don't mean nobody talking to my mom, but she tried to tell you to stay away from Maria. You can't talk about the past episode in the new episode. We ain't talking about that, though. I That's because your me. ass was talking about sports when I told you not to. But you were just playing some sisters, bro. I don't care. That didn't affect me one bit about the goddamn episode. Five. Bitch, don't go there. Five. Or you sick. You got to the point you really, here from your age. You feel you really feeling like Haley right now? You want me to go walk into a river right now because you try to be a string and yet you are not certified to? How did, how far was you were in that far in, Why are you way up there and you were in that far in there? You really think you're trying to counsel me right now? Me? Me, a person who thinks I'm not wrong, but yet at the same time I know I'm wrong, but also I'm right at the same time. Me? A person who's perfectly balanced. Who does not need this bullshit you're talking about right Nigga, now? Nigga, you just bust up. No, you and Lolly was going to the little, uh... Oh, please, I'm far from that crazy. That motherfucker, that psycho war. Like, this is a good space. I don't talk to myself. Well, ask like how... Well, like, I do when I... We kind of look at the episode right now, so I can't actually say what Red just said. Well, actually, fuck it. You about to go down... Now, I don't even know. I'm pretty sure all Americans do this. Now, I know everybody in the world probably talks to themselves when they look in the mirror. I know I do. Well, I do. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm not crazy. You walking like, damn. I know, right? Oh, you was always like, like, a girl. I don't say like, that, girl, though. Girl, remember they said, you can be fooled. You 
This is this is how it is. No, it's unfair. Unfair. See a girl, then she asks you about something about her boobs, and then you go to touching. Like this little bastard. Th this th it's this girl we both grew up with. She knows both of us very well. She get to touch her inappropriately. That's perfectly fine. I touch her. She's trying to swing on me. Now, this is very funny, cause she stopped me one time with a ring on her hand, and then I fucked her up by picking her up, and she told me to let her go, and she was pulling away from me. That's perfectly fine. She I let you go. Mm-hmm. Floors in this house, complete concrete foundation. Oh well. Okay. Oh, let's talk about you wearing that little boy. The thing he does not want to look at. Go ahead, Chris. Oh, yeah, he kept trying to get over Suzanne's uh, flashback of what she's been doing stuff so far as an adult. Okay, she worked at a goddamn, she was a fucking psychopath, wasn't at a goddamn store, reading people as they come in. Um, her sister went on vacation with her boyfriend. I think her sister technically is moving the fuck away because she's tired of this bitch. I mean, I would be too. Because there's no way in hell I'm dealing with some shit like that. And I also blame it on the way that she was brung up. Very, I strongly oh, blame it on that. Himself, though. He didn't kill himself. He was trying to get away, but at the same time, she did, she did, just, she did it after she put on harm to her. He just thought she was weird and she made it away from her. Right. I mean, but she didn't try to hurt the boy, though. He yeah. hurt himself. Yeah, she did. Yeah, he was trying Poor to Dylan. Him. I gotta have a son just to name him Dylan. Dylan, like Base Motel's Dylan. Never mind. But anyway. We about to die to wrap it into the next episode. But that cop that makes people fight each other is an asshole. And speaking of that cop, he made old girl eat a rat, though. A rat? Actually, no. She had a choice between rats and flies. What would you eat? I would put the fucking... Fly. Yeah. I would have ate the fucking glass. Fuck that. I mean, they just kicked me in the head. The hell? Oh, yeah. That, that, that would have been the best option. Because he couldn't do that for the simple fact. She can't come up with a lie to give good probable cause of why you shot someone in the head. Right, just shoot me in the fucking head, man, and call and call it a day. I would have done. But anyway, this was one of the most ridiculous reviews that we know why. All of that dumb shit that you did at the beginning. I didn't do shit dumb. Tell what you guys think. Leave a rate, comment, subscribe, and we gotta get you guys some help. There you go with this bullshit again, motherfucker. <laughs> But anyway, peace out. <laughs>